Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Penny Poole, and we're coming to you this afternoon on this Easter Sunday um, from the sanctity of our homes, uh, sheltering in place, and being safe regarding this 2020 COVID pandemic that has been taking our country. Now, we know that this is a great American tragedy. But more so, it's been devastating to the African-American community. And uh, we're still awaiting numbers as they have not been giving data on a regular basis as to who has been affected directly by this. But we know, and early reports say that it is our community that has been hit the hardest. Well, first of all, I want to say that all of us need to take courage. We all need to keep that faith and pray because we've gone through this. We've gone through things that are even much more severe as to our past and our history so that we know this too shall pass. We are awaiting data from the CDC because their data and information seems to be the most reliable. They're working on those current statistics and we'll make sure that we get them out on our information page, which will be hooked up to all of our social media so that you can see the current status of the data and how it is affecting this country as a whole. But what we would like to say also is that next Sunday, we will continue live uh, Sunday conversation. We will be uh, having topics, information. We hope that um, it's pertinent and relevant as this uh, situation has been so fluid and changing from time to time. We wanna make sure that when we do post, we will date the information so that you know exactly when these changes are occurring. Another thing to look for forward to is not only are we bringing information, but the Gwinnett NAACP has partnered with Chef Hank Reed, and we are bringing food to the community for those families who are challenged at this time. It's called Let Em Eat Gwinnett, and um, between the hours of 4.30 to 6.30, we will be coming to five locations throughout the county on a weekly basis, starting on April 13th at Snellville First Baptist Church. Again, we're hoping and helping that this will make a difference to children and families and the community. And again, Hank, uh, Chef Hank with Let Him Eat, we can make donations on his page. So if you go to Let Him Eat Gwinnett um, forward slash Let Him Eat.com, you can make a donation directly to this effort. So moving on, we also would like to inform you that um, the information that we are talking about, we will make sure that it's posted. Dealing with the upcoming date changes of the election, our community PAC chair, Amira Lawson has been working hard in her team and they've been constantly reviewing uh, articles, updates, and we're gonna make sure that we keep you informed. Also, um, we also want to let you know that um, we're here, we're here. So if we can assist or help or with any questions or answers, questions you may have, we're here. Um, we look forward to trying to make this time one which is so unpredictable, bearable, so that we can all do this together as a community. Again, um, please shelter in place, make those safe spaces great places where we can all just um, be with family and remember things and experience new things and walk together in this future. Um, also, please look forward to our May virtual meeting. We know that um, it still will not be safe in May to congregate together in a group over 10 per our COVID-19 guidelines. So our NAACP regular general meeting, membership meeting, 
will be held May 12th. And again, we will bring that to you virtually. So from the comfort of your home, join us. Happy Easter to you. Happy Passover. Blessings to all.